Mm. My wife used to fart when she was nervous. It's <laughs> a wonderful little ear singer. It was so loud it woke the dog up. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, was that you? See, I didn't have the heart to tell. <laughs> 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 oh shit what's up y'all this your boy movie man greg coming at you guys with another reaction and we're doing another movie we're doing good will hunting now i've never seen this before i've just only heard like well, I've seen like little small scenes where I think he like Matt Damon's supposed to be like a janitor, but he's brilliant. I've seen him solve an equation or something. That's literally the only thing I know about this movie. Uh, but I hear it's it's phenomenal, and you guys voted. Um, another thing is I want to give a shout out to my Patreon member, uh, Michael Kiefer. He was the one that actually suggested this. So again, thank you for becoming a Patreon member and also for the suggestion. Um, also, for those people who don't know, I have a special going on. The next five people who actually signed up, doesn't matter what level you signed up under, but uh, you would actually be able to pick a suggestion, and then those five suggestions will leave that up to the vote for the people. Um, but you will also get a shout out on that video. So even if I don't pick your video, those five people is going to get a verbal shout out. So again, I appreciate you guys. If you want to become a member, uh, for unedited full version videos, make sure you do so. Um, the link will be in the community tab, or you can go to www.patreon.com forward slash two epic. All right, and I'll put it in the description below. Uh, with that, without further ado, um, oh, I also just recently watched Jingle All the Way. When I tell y'all that shit brought back memories, like, man, that movie was so good. Like, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. All that that excitement I had as a kid for Turbo Man kind of came back. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger did his thing. Sinbad did his thing. So make sure you guys check out that alongside my other top movies right now. Saving Private Ryan, uh, America History X, and then also Forrest Gump. Um, I'm, I'm a little shocked that my Forrest Gump video is not doing as well as the other ones, but make sure you take a look at that as well. But without further ado, Let's go ahead and get this reaction started. I am excited about this. And I hope this is a movie I don't cry in. I'm tired of the super emotional videos. Like, I, I, I'm i only trying to... I, I'm not trying to cry in every damn movie reaction that I do. I'm just trying to say that right now. All right? So let's go. I don't want no depressing-ass movie. I watch this be a depressing-ass movie. My man, Robin Williams. Man. Matt Damon. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. Man, that's a that's a legend right there. Oh, Ben Affleck is in here too. Okay. Look at Ben Affleck. And Matt Damon looking young as shit. <laughs> they were kids. Medal winners. Renowned astrophysicists and lowly MIT professors. Man, that oh, shit all. look like Spanish you to me. have any questions? I'm sure that Tom has the answers. Is that even English? <laughs> that was, that's a crazy ass equation. Kathy! What? Why didn't you give me none of that nasty little hoochie woochie you usually throw at me? Oh, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> and your Irish curse, Chucky. Like, Ooh, is she missing a tooth? Spread my legs for that tootsie roll. A tootsie roll. <laughs> okay, so why is he a janitor? Why is he not in class? I'm assuming he probably comes from a poor family. And again, these are assumptions. He's trying to make his own way. Never had the confidence to go to college, so he's just working it. I don't want Had the grades, but had to drop out. Something happened. Something traumatic. I don't know. I'm just throwing shit out there. 
next week. We should go up there. What are we gonna do up there? I don't know. We'll fuck up some smart kids. They definitely from like Boston. Right definitely a Boston accent. Yeah. Yep. Massachusetts, right on his, on his sports coat. My son plays baseball. Right He's yeah, been doing really nice. good. That's, he's um, the guy she's with. That's fucking guinea. I hate can't that. Can't wait whole for the next season to start that. again. Mm -hmm. Fuck Oh shit! Uh, go for a walk. So, I know that dude. I know the dude in the front, and I know the dude in the back. But he normally. Was he in a... Damn, I know him. He's normally clean shaven. Was he the bad guy in Fast and Furious? I think that's the same dude. And him in the back, I know him from somewhere too. I Let me know, let me know. But I know them. It's going to kill me until I figure it out. Minutes out of our way. What the fuck are we gonna do? We can't spare 15 minutes. Yeah, I know them. Double burger? It, it's hit, is. Wow. Ah. Double burger? Don't be an asshole. What am I? <laughs> fucking sandwich welfare? I think you should establish a good line of credit. You like how you bought your couch? Payment plans. Remember, wow. your mother brought in $10? <laughs> oh, yeah, you, shit. You Shut the fuck up. Oh, man. Oh, oh well. We just seen the guy 15 minutes ago at the practice. Yeah, at the... Go fight him, we should fight him next. Seconds, when I'm done with them, you're next. Come on, it's me. It's me, Will. Remember, we went to kindergarten together. Oh! Woo! Okay. They rolled up on their ass. That was a drive-by beatdown. Ooh. Damn. Kicked in the face. Ugh. Five oh. Five oh. Damn. Damn. Okay. All right. You ain't got to murder him. Oh. Oh, shit. Striking an officer, bro. All right. He got a lot of pent up aggression there. A lot of it. But he's smart as fuck, apparently. That's people's work. You can't graffiti here. Don't you walk away from me. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Oh, you can't graffiti here. This motherfucker drawing. What is he drawing? I don't like no damn. Oh my God. Was restructuring. Yeah, restructuring him out of retard <laughs> they working for him. <laughs> damn. You get canned more than tuna, bitch. Damn. Damn. Job right now, don't I? Yeah. That's it. So I think I had a class with you. I am? What class? History. Maybe. Mm, yes. I think that's what it was. Yes, it was, um, it was just between recess and lunch. Well, <laughs> Damn. Go away. Damn. You relax. The, the market economy in the southern colonies. My contention is that uh, prior to the Revolutionary his War, he a lot of college work. Hang on Thank a second. You. You're a first year grad student. Convince that till next month when you get to James Lemon. Then you're going to be talking about how the economies of Virginia and Pennsylvania were Woo! entrepreneurial and capital and capital forming effects of military mobilization. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Taste of your own medicine. Off as your own, as your own idea just to impress some girls. Embarrass oh, my shit. friend. Damn. The sad thing about a guy like you. Damn! If you have a problem like that, I mean, we could just step outside. We could figure it out. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man, there's no problem. Yeah, no problem. That is cool. How you like me now? <laughs> <laughs> How do you like me now? How about those apples? Hey, pause. That was impressive. Like. I, I like shit like that. When you got to bring a bully down, you know, bring him down a peg or two. He brought his ass down to the floor. To the floor. So, yeah, I like that. All right, here we go. Those girls like that shit, too. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, right now. Yup, there he He didn't even have to try. 
She just brought that man down and she loved that shit. Hi. Do you like apples? Yeah. yeah. How about those apples? Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Okay, I don't know why that shit got me so amped. <laughs> oh man, I haven't heard that in so long. How about those apples? This job through his PO, you can call him. PO? Yeah, parole officer. Will Hunting. Will Hunting, good Will Hunting. Wow, that's his name. Name of the movie. Asshole. <laughs> there is a way that you've been through several foster homes. The state removed you from three because of serious physical abuse. Damn. You know, another judge might care, but you hit a cop, you're going in. Damn. Most Holy shit. And it's crazy, he not even sweating. Like, he about to smart his way out of jail. That's, but that's a long ass rap sheet. So it's a lot going on there. Like, he's been in foster homes. You know, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack with this guy. All right. That's where the plot Hello? is. Yo, what's up? Baby, what's up? Hold on one second. You know. Hey. What's up, baby? You want some of my ass? Oh, ooh. Perfect. Perfect. I remember you from Juvie. How you doing? Oh. Told to fuck himself. Oh, yeah. What the fuck do you want? Did you go fuck Spoken yourself to the like judge. I told you? <laughs> I disagreed to release you. Under my supervision. And he just figured whatever the fuck that is. Like it's two plus two. Like, don't touch me, dog. Boundaries, bro. But they are destroying your potential. There are no more shenanigans, no more tomfoolery. No more ballyhoo. You're right. Ballyhoo? Do you find it hard to hide the fact that you're gay? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? What? Oh, what, buddy, shit. Two seconds ago, you were ready to give me a jump. A Oof. jump? Woo! <laughs> he ran him. I'm sorry. Putt from the rough? So the question is, is he fucking with the therapist? Like, because you don't want to do it. Or did he really analyze the therapist and was like able to size him up? Like, really? Oh, yeah. Like, this is who you are. You're, you know, is he that mentally in tune? Okay, I'm keeping going. I'm going on national television next week. I haven't even got time to tell you. Much less talk to that raving loony in there. An absolute lunatic here. Yeah, he was right. He called his ass out. Okay, so this is beautiful. Because we can make a lot of love before yeah, the sun playing. goes down. He's playing with his ass. Afternoon delight. Sky <laughs> he just busts out in the song. Da, 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 da. Hey, I'm on, sorry, Rick. I've better things to do with my time. What do you want to do? The professor is intrigued because this is a problem. Like, it's something he wants to solve. He sees Will, great potential, probably one of the most brilliant minds he's seen in a, in a young man. But yet, he has his history behind him that's holding him back or impeding his future. And he's intrigued, not only that because that he's a... a pretty much a genius, but he's like, he wants to try to figure things out because he's used to figuring things out as well. So, yeah. Trust. Very oh, shit, I forgot Robin Williams was in, in this movie. It's also very important in a clinical situation. Why is trust the most important thing in making a breakthrough? Damn, hold life? on, y'all. Ah, uh, shit. I miss this guy. Like, for real. Like, this dude... I'm thinking about doing a Robin Williams marathon. Like, I miss this guy. I really do. 
You, uh, get leniency or what? I got, uh, probation and then, uh, counseling two days a week. Be like, how? A joke. You're a smoothie. Come on, Mark, <laughs> just submit! A smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> know what you got. He probably even read your book, if you can find it. It's gonna be hard for him to find. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sean McGuire. Another one. Be like, I gotta go through this shit again. These fucking fancy books, you surround yourselves with them, they're the wrong fucking books. One of the right fucking books, Will. <laughs> hey, whatever blows your hair back. Yeah. I've got much hair left. <laughs> you know you'd be better off. 285. What do you bench? You paint that? Yeah. Every time he goes in to ask a question, Matt Damon deflects either with another question or, well, Matt Damon, uh, Will Hunting, he either deflects with, uh, um, he doesn't answer the question, he changes the subject, or he answers the question with another question. Like, this this dude is Fort Knox, but Robin's character, he just, he just moving with the punches. He just, hey, you, you go left, I'm gonna go right. You go right, I'm gonna go up. You, you know, he's, this is this is very interesting. You paint? No. Oh. You like art? You like music? He can't get him to. It's a real piece of shit. Say yes or well, I like tell me something. What you really think? Well, that's it, isn't it? You married the wrong woman. Ooh. What happened? He found the button. Why'd she leave you? Was she, you know, banging some other guy? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I kill you. Woo! First day, four o'clock. Make sure the kids here. Damn. Thanks. He must remind him of himself. Man, it's crazy. He deduct all that information from that picture. It's like he knew which questions to ask. Man, this shit is crazy. Damn, his wife. She must. I'm. A, I'm taking a guess. She passed. She died. When he, when he hit that button saying she left, like yeah, she left. Like she passed. And he can't get over it. Two, three. <gasps> they're, they're all gone. Yeah. <laughs> it works better when I have my rabbit. Wow. <laughs> I don't really have it. It's have you. I happen to get a good night kiss. No, you know, I tell you, I was hoping to get a good night late. Instead of like a kiss, you know, right now. No. <laughs> With beef all in your mouth? <laughs> Oh, that was a little cute laugh. <laughs> oh, that was cute. He's like, yeah, we're not sitting in the office. Rio ass can sit here and examine everything so about this. me. Him and the Pope. But you've never Sexual seen orientation, it. Orientation, the whole works, right? But you've never seen it. I bet you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. Nope. You can't tell me what it feels like to wake up next to a woman and feel truly happy. Mm. You've never held your best friend's head in your lap and watch him gasp his last breath looking to you for help. Hmm. Have that love for her be there forever mm. through anything through cancer because the doctors could see in your eyes that the terms visiting hours don't apply to you mm. you don't know about real loss You think I'd know the first thing about how hard your life has been, how you feel, who you are, because I read all of a twist. Mm. Does that encapsulate you?
Ja. Yo. Yo, that was fucking powerful. Like, damn. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to go watch that again. Like, that was, that's a fucking monologue right there. I think it even hits harder knowing that Robin Williams is gone, too, man. It's like a fetish. It's something like, maybe we need about it. Man. Something occurred to me. Man, I had to watch that again. Um, so to give you guys an idea on how my mind works, especially while I'm reacting. Uh, and it's funny because <laughs> this is a little, little side note. I've, I've been doing these movie reactions and I find myself when I'm watching regular movies, like if I'm with my wife or at the movies, now I find myself still in my reactor moment where i'm still <laughs> i still be re actually reacting like out loud you know instead of just sitting and enjoying the movie i might be at the movie theater and to myself i'm like oh shit don't do that oh you know so it's, it's funny how i gotta try to take myself out of that because i never used to do that until i started doing these movie reactions so it's just something that i had found out about myself like dang i really be reacting even when i'm not in front of the camera so um i'm good at just sitting through a movie now but it took it ha i had to mentally you know go there i had to mentally see oh this is what i do so let me stop doing that but the first time i heard this monologue my mind was thinking like i tried to inject like ingest digest and react to it for you guys you know i try to make this as entertaining as possible like we're having a conversation about this movie. Um, but it was so much. It was so powerful. I felt like I needed to ingest it again uninterrupted. Um, I got as much out of it the first time, the second time around. But yeah, it, this is probably like one of the most powerful monologues I've I've heard. Like this is this is powerful. You know. He literally just summed him up in a way of just expressing how it feels to be human. You know, yes, you can get all this information from books. You, you can think you know something, but without that humanity attached to it, how can you really on a deeper level connect to anything? Whether if it's a loved one, a friend, a colleague, a, like whatever it may be. You have to be able to open yourself up to be able to connect. And man, like the eloquent, eloquent words, like, whew. And like I said, it even hits even harder knowing Robin Williams is gone and the way how he passed. You know, he like shit, like he living, he was probably living through something like this without us knowing what he's going through. He's doing all this for entertainment, but he's going through shit. And it was, it was like, did anyone ever reach out to him to connect with him? Or was he ever open to anyone on that deeper level? It, this shit is deep. I'm sorry. I, I, all right. This is a good fucking movie. That's all I got to say. Sorry for the long ass monologue. <laughs> Cause I'm only talking to y'all to myself, but Shit. What does Ben Affleck do? What like what does he do? Okay, we about to find out. <laughs> this is his job. Alright. So he works two jobs. He does that Hello? and he's the janitor. Hello, Miss Valenti, you calling me again? Ooh. He wants to open up and he's scared. Too call. No, and I forgot the number. Fucking retarded, you went all the way out there in the rain and you didn't bring that number? <laughs> no, it was your mother's 900 number, I just ran out of cars. Damn, that shit hit him so hard. This is your move, man. 
It's your world. Talk about whatever you want to talk about. First one to talk loses. It's pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> Prove to me he doesn't have to talk to me if he doesn't want to. What is this, some kind of staring contest between two kids from the old neighborhood? <laughs> Literally. First one to talk loses. How long are they going to go through this? Days? Weeks? Months? He said it was your move, bro. Here you go. He falls asleep on his ass. You know, I was on this plane <laughs> once. And I'm sitting there, and I was bombing up from the back of the plane. It's telling me the microphone's still on. This guy in the back of the plane's like, hey, hon, don't forget the coffee. Oh, wow. Mm. My wife used to fart when she was nervous. You know, such a wonderful little <laughs> 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 It was so loud, it woke the dog up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, was that you? See, I didn't have the heart to tell. <laughs> oh shit. She's been dead two years, and that's the shit I remember. Oh, <laughs> wonderful shit. stuff, you know? Little things like that. Oh yeah. man. Mm, he just threw that in there. You ever think about getting remarried? My wife's dead. Like Hence it. the word remarried. She's dead. I mean, that way you could actually go through the rest of your life without ever really knowing anybody. Damn! Damn! Touche! Touche! And that was a good one. That was a good... That wasn't an asshole or a dick touche. That was a... Here's your fucking words. Well, you're not going to surgery tomorrow, are you? No. Let's go. Mm. You're like, I do your homework. Oh, no, we can hit no, the dog no, track. Regrets will, but I don't regret a single day I spent with her. Yeah, that's love right there. That's love. So when did you know? Get out of the way! Get out of the way! I can't fucking believe you had tickets in that fucking game! Why did you rush the field? Ooh. Run? Oh, yeah. To have a fucking drink with some lady you never met? Yeah, but you should have seen her. She was a stunner. I don't care if. Oh, no, no. She lit up the room. I'm as sure as hell don't regret missing a damn game. That's regret. Fuck that game. Wow. You just put it all in perspective. Would have been nice to catch that game, though. I didn't know Budge was gonna hit a home run. <laughs> what if I said I would not sleep with you again until you let me meet your friends? Then we'll go today. We'll go today, right now. Well, it's like four thirty in the morning. They're probably up. <laughs> <Right now. laughs> Like an advance payment. Yeah. <laughs> In a tree. Okay, there was an accident. <laughs> anyway, how can you hear the other shot? Shut, shut, shut up. Let him talk. Let him talk. Sorry, he told you to go to the garage. <laughs> Is that fucking over? He was so fucking hammered, he drove the wrong car home. Wow. <laughs> the best part about it is, wow. the fucking state trooper had been so embarrassed, he didn't do anything. And Mary looks up at him and she goes, Give us some kids. <laughs> wow, give me some kids. <laughs> oh, wow. I've never felt yet. Wow. I'm not sure you understand, Sean. What? Well, what don't I understand? Oh, guys. Yeah, well, okay, what's the, what's the issue? So you don't get what you want. There's more to life than a fucking Fields medal. This is too important, Sean. Oh, man. It's about personal rivalry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rivalry? Let's talk about the boy. Why don't we give him time to figure out what he wants? That's yeah. 
Damn. Damn, this shit is. As I can. Will, our offer is $84,000 a year. Retainer. Retainer. He is you posing. To... Wow. Good day, gentlemen. He just and posed. Until that day comes, keep your head to the grindstone. This guy is a trick. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, just for fun. Yeah, for kicks. Yeah, it's so much fun. <laughs> organic chemistry. Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> Completely lost your mind. All out of Fenway. I can't play the piano. But you can do my oak paper in under an hour. Fifteen minutes. Right. Well, I mean, when it came to stuff like that, I could always just play. It's just a part of him. I've been here for four years. And I've only just found you. Aww. 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 That was a nice little line right there. I've been here for four years and I just now found you. That's cute. I want you to come to California. sure about that oh yeah mm. oh yeah, open how do you know i just want you to come to california with me i can't go to california so. oh man why not Ooh. Well, one because i i got a job here My father died when I was 13 and I inherited this money. You know, I think every day I wake up. Uh, wishing I wish you I had could him. give it back. That I would give it back in a second. I'm not honest with you. No, what about your 12 brothers? Yeah, yeah, no, you get it to No, you're not going. You're not leaving. Yeah. What do you want to know? What? That I don't have 12 brothers? Fucking surgery that the motherfuckers stabbed me. You, you don't want to hear that shit, Skyler. I do. Don't, you don't, don't tell me you want to hear that I shit. I want to because I love you. Don't bullshit Ooh, me. Don't shit. you love fucking you. bullshit <laughs> me. Because if you say that, then I won't call you. And I won't be in your life. I don't love you. Oh! Oh, he just lied like that. Damn. Damn, his trauma. He got some deep trauma. Like, shit, he need to be in therapy discussing all of that. Like, he's already been doing so well. He let this woman in, but he got so much more that he has to unpack and heal from. Where it's to the point where he just lied to her face saying he don't love her because of his defense mechanism. Because he has all that unsettled baggage that he has to let go. Woo! It's wild. And he said that shit without hesitation. I don't love you. Do this. I really am because I wouldn't have to fucking sit here and watch you fumble around and fuck it up. Damn. Damn. For my time. Oh. Yeah, Robin Williams said he was he wasn't ready. He said he wasn't ready. Walk around with the knowledge that there was someone like you out there. Wow. Whew. This shit is getting I, deeper I didn't and deeper. Have to watch you throw it all the way. Pump a baseball glove. I didn't. I didn't. I just used it for the for cleanup. <laughs> Oh wow! Jerking off in my mother's room. Doing another VCR in the house. It's just... <laughs> oh my god! So why do you club a baby seal, hit the hash pipe, and join the National Guard? I could be elected president. You hey. like you're alone, Will. <laughs> what? <laughs> you have a soulmate. It's home I'm building. Right. My dad laid brick. Okay. Busted his ass so I can have an education. Exactly. That's an honorable profession. What's wrong with, with fixing somebody's car? Someone will get to work the next day because of me. Sure, that's why you right. took that job. I mean, for the honor of it. <laughs> I just have a little question here. You could be a janitor anywhere. Why here? Why did you work? Because I don't see a lot of honor in that, Will. Oof. Oof. I, I want to 
be a shepherd. Really? I want to move up to Nashua, get a nice little spread, get some sheep, and tend to them. That's right, she's fucking dead, she fucking dies, and you just cash in your chips and you walk away? Hey, at least I played a hand. Oh, and you played oh, a hand and you lost. You lost a big fucking hand, and some people will lose a big hand like that and have the sack to ante up again. Ante up again. For real. What do you want to do? That's a simple question. Because you don't know. And that's fine. Just say you don't know. See you, Bo Peep. Call him Bo Peep. Fuck you. You're the shepherd. <laughs> that's what you wanted to be. Damn, he can he can't open up. Damn. Is she gonna be the one that got away? And it's crazy because she knows. She knows he love her. She knows it. But she gotta hear it. She gotta know that he knows that he knows it. <laughs> oh yeah. She waited for him to to roll up. Is his friends gonna talk talk him into some damn sense? His boys need to talk to him. What's up with your girl? So how's your lady? She, there he, all right, this is what I'm yeah, waiting she's for. Gone. gone? What the fuck? Gone, gone where? You know, we'll be neighbors, you know, we'll have little kids, fucking take them a little league together up Foley Field. You're like, bro. Look, like you you're my team. best friend, so don't take this the wrong way. If you're still working construction, I'll fucking kill you. Period. That's not a threat. Why? That's a fact. I'll fucking kill you. What the fuck are you talking about? You the smartest motherfucker I know. I mean, you're sitting on a winning lottery ticket. You're too much of a pussy to cash it in. Mm. That's bullshit. Yeah. Anything. I know nothing. Just left. I don't know much, but I know that. Damn. And that's out of love. That ain't jealousy. That ain't. And that's like, yo, you got something for yourself and do something, bro. Tell them if he asked them to, it would take a fucking bat to your head, okay? That's called loyalty. Yeah, it's very touchy. And who's he handling? Oh, man. He pushes people away before they have a this chance to get on my nerves. Him. Yeah. Sick and didn't know what side of the bed to piss on. Yeah, you were smarter than me then, and you're smarter than me now, so don't blame me for how your life turned out. It's not my fault. I don't blame you. It's not about you, you mathematical dick. Hey, you're not going to fail me, are you? What's it say? I've seen some pretty awful shit. I mean, have you had any experience with that? Hmm. Oh, oh man, Hammett looking to wail on somebody. So I'd provoke him so he wouldn't go after my mother and little brother. Ranch. Why the ranch? Because fuck him. That's why. Your foster father. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's not your fault. I know. It's not your fault. No, nah, you gotta believe it. It's not your fault. <laughs> Don't fuck with him. Like it's not. It's not your fault. Mm. <laughs> Let that shit out. Oh my God. Man. Whew, trauma's a hell of a thing. I figured I'm just gonna put my money back on the table and see what kind of cards I get. Damn. Damn. You do what's in your heart, son, you'll be fine. Damn. He, they changed each other. Put my cars back on the table. It's, uh, it's 21 now, so. You're legally allowed to drink, so we figured the best thing for you, kid, was a car. <laughs> this is like. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. What other shit you got to say to me? 
<laughs> I am. Um, Come to apologize. Yeah. Drinks at those things are free. I know, Jerry. I was being ironical. <laughs> oh, he about to go to California. He about to drive to California. Yeah. There you go. There you have it. Now hurry your ass up. We're going to be late. <laughs> Like, yeah, I get the front seat. Yeah, I get the front seat, baby. Professor calls about that job. Just tell him, sorry. I had to go see about a girl. Damn. Stole my life. <laughs> he stole my life. <laughs> yeah. Go get that girl. Nah, oh, man. That was good, y'all. So, first off, before we start, rest in peace to Robin Williams. You know, definitely a legend. Um, I'm thinking about doing a Robin Williams marathon. Let me know if that's something you guys will, will like, you know. But what I will say was that was incredible. Um, the monologue, that was, a, that was one of the best monologues I've ever heard. Uh just everything about this movie was great the character development from the beginning to the end uh with pretty much almost all parties involved you know matt damon's character uh will hunting from where he started to where he ended was was amazing you know and then he went to go get the girl at the end like he was able to drop his baggage confront his trauma learn from it and move forward you know that brick wall that was hitting him, you know, he was able to, to to punch through. So that's incredible. Same thing with Robin Williams. You know, he had a brick wall on living life. He 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 didn't do anything for the, like the last couple of years because he was still mourning his wife. Uh, but the advice that he was giving out, you know, the you know the talk that he was giving to to Will. Will was able to spit it right back at him. Like, yo, these are your words that you're preaching. You need to practice this yourself. And it was good to see by, by the end of the movie. You know, he literally was like, hey, I had a shitty, I, I, I got cards. It's time to put them back and, you know, start betting again, start playing my cards again. So it was cool to see how his character went full circle. You know, these broken and damaged people that end up, you know, essentially move in the the direction of the, you know, in the right direction of healing. And, you know, he started to travel at the end and it looked like he was going to start writing books and stuff. So it was really cool to see how everyone's character was developed. Um, yeah, man, I'm glad, he, you know, he went to get the girl at the end. So that was pretty cool to see, too. Um, I uh, ish. That's all I got, I think. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Um, but what was your favorite parts of the movie? What, what are some things that I may have missed? What are some things that um, you guys might agree or disagree with? Um, it was it was very, very profound. Um, probably, whew, this is easy. I, I know it's in a lot of people's top 10 movies. You know, I will say it's probably like in one of my top Robin Williams movies. But yeah, I, it's a lot of these Robin Williams movies I haven't seen in such a long time. Like, I remember Mrs. Doubtfire, but I saw that as a kid. I remember Hook, saw that as a kid. Like, it's been a long time since I've really seen a lot of Robin Williams movies. So I think those would be really good to to review, rewatch. And I know there's some uh, some out there that I've never seen before. Like, um, I've never seen Jack, never seen Jack. And I think I've seen only bits and pieces of Patch Adams, but I remember seeing Bicentennial Man, but I saw Bicentennial Man at the movies. And that was only the one time I seen Bicentennial Man. Um, what other, what other movie? I said Mrs. Doubtfire has been since I was little. Yeah. Like, but 
just thinking about watching these movies, I'm I'm getting excited. Like I, I really. So yeah, I think that's probably going to be one of the things I do um, going forward. As I'm going to try to sprinkle in some Robin Williams. Um, I'm also put a poll out see if everybody want want me to do a Robin Williams marathon. Also, it depends on how well this movie does as well. Like if I only get like a thousand views on here, then I might not consider doing that. Um, but remember, if you want to support, make sure you do so on Patreon. Um, if you want to get full unedited reactions, and I mean unedited, like you get to see me in full and then also the movie in full, um, uh, go to patreon.com forward slash two epic. That's the number two and then epic E-P-I-C. Um, or you could click the links that's in my community tab. Um, I'm also, I also watched a uh, turbo man. So I'm probably going to be dropping that real soon. Uh, and then I watched the first episode of the Sopranos, which is, which is really great. Like, Ooh, I'm excited for the Sopranos, but that's all I got. Again, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all and I will catch you guys on the next reaction until then. Peace. Ooh, that was a damn good movie.